followers of the Spiritual Director Adoration Ministry, Enugu, Nigeria. Reverend Father E.G.K. Mbaka on Sunday defied a directive of the Catholic Bishop of Enugu Diocese, Most Reverend Callistus Onaga, to stop attending Mbaka's church. So our reporters earlier reported that Bishop Onaga on Saturday in a pastoral injunction and attendance to Catholic Adoration Ministry, Chaplain C. Enugu, enjoined all Catholics to stop visiting the ministry to further notice. It reported that the bishop advised the Catholic faithful to also pray for Mbaka. Onaga had, in the light of the happenings in the Catholic Adoration Ministry, Chaplain C. Enugu, capable of undermining the Catholic faith and teachings and after several fraternal corrections and admonitions to Father Camillus Ejike Mbaka, the chaplain of the ministry, and after having given him pastoral directives and guidelines for the ministry chaplaincy, which he persistently violated and in fulfillment of my pastoral duties as the chief shepherd with the obligation to promote and safeguard the Catholic faith and morals in Enugu diocese, I hereby prohibit all Catholics, clergy, religious, and lay faithful, henceforth, from attending all religious and liturgical activities of the Catholic Adoration Ministry until due canonical process initiated by the diocese is concluded. My decision is based on the fact that some of the teachings and utterances of Father Camillus A.G.K. Mbaka at the Catholic Adoration Ministry are not consistent with the teachings of and faith of the Catholic Church. However, in defiance of the prohibition, hundreds of Mbaka's admirers thronged the adoration group in ground in protest against the bishop's directive. Most of the followers who were with green leaves marched around the adoration ground. In a viral video seen by Sahara reporters, they could be heard saying, For the removal of Bishop Onaga, hey? One of them said it is Bishop Onaga that should be suspended and not Reverend Father A.G.K. Mbaka. Rights, Realization and Advancement Network has described the suspension order of the bishop as illegal and a grave attack on the constitutional right of freedom of religion, worship and association. A statement issued on Sunday by his president, Comrade Olu Omotayo, called on Enugu Catholic Diocese to retrace its steps from this dangerous incursion into politics and allow people to worship where they like. The statement is titled, Closure of Adoration Worshipping Center is a Grave Attack on the Constitutional Rights of Freedom of Religion, Worship and Association of Millions of Nigerians Worshipping Threats. It reads in part, we condemn without equivocation the closure of Adoration Prayer Center, Enugu, which has over the years served as a place of succor for millions of Christians, both Catholics and non-Catholics. The decision of the Enugu Catholic Diocese through targeted at the President Priest Reverend Father C. A. G. K. Mbaka for his remarks against Mr. Peter Obi is a grave violation of the rights of freedom of worship and religion of millions of faithful who converge at the center for prayers on a daily basis. It will be recorded that the right to freedom of worship is gradually being eroded by religious bodies in Nigeria considering the incidents in Abuja when Sheikh Khalid, the imam of a Akbo Jumat mosque, was removed because of his harsh statements against the president Buhari led federal government. The events unfolding in Edugu, where justification is being found to justify the ban by bishop on Catholics worshipping as adoration grant because of Father Mbaka's statements against Peter Obi, is not only unconstitutional, it's an attack on the rule of law, freedom of worship and religion, and taking the country back to the medieval time. It will be recalled that during the Abuja incident on the removal of Sheikh Khalid, nobody cited Quranic injunctions that Muslims should respect and obey leaders in authority in order to justify the unlawful removal of the Imam. But the removal was roundly condemned by all, including Muslims and Christians. So the Enugu incident should be roundly condemned. Like, seriously? <laughs> 
It would also be recalled that Fadan Baka was only admonished and adoration services suspended for weeks some months ago because he criticized the federal government, which we all condemned. It added, it added, we submit that for anybody to hide under canon law and close down where millions of faithful worship because the presiding priests made a harsh statement against Peter B. is not only a grave violation of freedom of speech and association of the priest, but a grave violation of the freedom of worship and religion of millions of faithful, both Catholics and non-Catholics, who worship daily at the center. We hope that the Enugu Diocese of the Catholic Church will retrace its steps from this dangerous incursion into politics and allow people to worship where they like. It is unconstitutional to close down a place of worship in Nigeria under any guise whatsoever because of remarks against any person, even if it is the president of the federation. The court of appeal in Arthur Wankos case stated that the right guaranteed the citizens of the country under the constitution should be jealously guarded. Okay now, hmm. I was about to laugh, you know, because somebody was talking about, even somebody was making that, uh, you know, statement that, hey, oh, they didn't, they were not supposed to close down the churches and this and that. And somebody said, if they close the church, go to another church to go and worship if you really want to worship. Nobody saying you should not worship. There must be discipline. There must be orderliness. Now, even in the Bible, when people just came, you know, because it's a freedom of water, water, whatever, people were bringing a lot of things to sell in the house of God. It, that was not meant for it. So because of freedom of uh, association, freedom of whatever, and people will not have uh, rules and regulations guiding them. The same man that they scolded. Now you are trying to force, because it was, it, it was a speech. You are trying to tell somebody who, who has his own money. That he doesn't want to give you. If he does not want to give, is it your money? Is it government money? Is it church money? Is it a public money? Is it money? And you are trying to sow a, a, a seed of discord, a seed, a seed of hatred in the in the minds of people. What are you trying to say? Like we said, Sheikh Osani was trying to justify that uh, issue of uh, the Abuja Imam with a Mbaka case. They are not the same. They are not the same. Buhari is being heavily paid. He's heavily paid, and that is what he's signed to do. You are not doing your work. So this uh, Peter B is a different thing. Nobody employed him. You are telling him that he did not give you money. Give you money from which company? From your father's money? From your father's pocket or what? I don't understand. If you know that, if they close that place, go to another church. Nobody is telling you not to worship God. You can worship God even from your heart. All those things are just uh, rhetoric. If you want to serve God, is it by going to uh, four corners of a, of a building before you go to church? Stay in your house and worship God from the whole of your heart. Worship him, worship him in spirit and in truth. Worship, nobody telling you not to worship, worship God. I can remember during COVID-19 when they said, oh, people say they didn't get a church. I think you forget, is somebody going to come to your house and lock your heart for you? If you want to pray, must you, can't you pray within your heart? Can't you sing praises? Can't you worship God wherever you find yourself? All these ones say, I just lay me excuses. Hypocrisy is what is worrying them. There's nothing, as, as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing wrong in what the, the leadership of Catholic has done. Because I don't know what is teaching people. Teaching people on forgiveness. Teaching people on how to be greedy. Teaching people on how to force something from other people. The Bible says that they love, God loves a cheerful giver. Not a, you, comp, you compare somebody to give you money. You don't, don't do that. It is God that will lay it in somebody's heart to do what he wants to do. And because of that, God will not even go and come and kill you. The Bible has said, has said it, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, present and shaking together. What you give it will be the what you are going to get. It is just that's the law. If you don't give, you will not get. So if the man did not give, he will not get. It is not a sin. I don't know why it's making it as if it's a big deal. It's not a public fund that he has to be accountable. It has, he has to be accountable for. Hmm. Some of them don't even know, under, uh, don't understand the Catholic doctrine. Bishop is not a, polit a political post. This is not the best way to solve the problem. They should pray over it if they really understand the importance of prayer than to protest. May God help us. Why can't they protest against bad governance? Brainwash interlocutors. Some of them may not even know 
what they are protesting for who knows that they have been told what they have been told after watching the video of the people protesting adoration ground today i have come to realize that religion ignorance and bad governance has really dealt with us with education comes enlightenment with hand work and success so you won't be brainwashed by religion with good governance there will be low poverty rates and good health facility that will take care of your health need instead of depending only on your pastor's prayer for healing so guys i'll let's hear your opinion and have your take on this